everyone, my name is Luki. Welcome to my channel. You're the one place where you know personal finance and career. And today I will be talking about how to invest in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. All right. So I'm sure you are on this video because you obviously searched for that word. How do I invest in Bitcoin? Now, I'm not going to be giving you, um, you know, details or the history of Bitcoin or all the other cryptocurrencies. What I will be sharing with you is something that, you know, is very practical um, based on stories that I've seen, based of sto on stories that I, I personally in my life have experienced about this, um, this particular investment tool. Yes, I call it investment tool because, you know, um, it's something that over time has proven to be you know a channel where you can multiply your wealth and anything that can help you to increase your wealth or increase your your income or whatever is um is a tool i would say it's a is a is a wealth tool okay so without much ado or you know going back and forth i would just quickly go into the main details So the first thing you want to do when thinking about Bitcoin or which cryptocurrency you want to look, you want to invest in, is to know. Start small. So maybe Bitcoin is currently too high for you in terms of investment, but you know you can invest in it fractionally, which means that you don't have to have the total amount a Bitcoin one Bitcoin worth before you can invest in it. You can just you know invest a small amount and that small amount of bitcoin will be assigned to you so think about it in form in terms of you know um fractional shares just like amazon shares maybe you don't have that three thousand five hundred today to buy one single amazon share because you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket but you can buy a little bit or a little portion of an amazon shares right the same thing applies to bitcoin and some of the other cryptocurrencies which are huge in terms of their prices okay so if you have just maybe a thousand dollars or a thousand euros you can buy a thousand dollars or a thousand euros worth of bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency all right so the second thing you also want to do is that you want to know who are the backers of that cryptocurrency or in this case bitcoin yeah so we don't really know actually who the backers of bitcoin who the bitcoin is right but the other currencies or cryptocurrencies coming up the other coins there are some backers there are some people who actually are supporting it for example the the naga coin i know the people who are supporting it they are they are in germany in hamburg you know so make your research and see the you know how if you can trust yeah that's the word if you can trust the people who are putting down the coin, who are putting out or pushing out or supporting that coin, because you want to be sure that you're not buying a coin that that it's first stars that are sponsoring it or people who are not uh, who, whose integrity is to be questioned, right? So that's what you want to avoid. You want to put your coin or put your money where you know, okay, they have genuine interest in actually helping you to grow your wealth. So please go ahead and do your research on the backers of that particular coin. The third thing you want to be aware of is that, you know, investing in Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency is full of risk, right? And, and why is there a risk? There's risk because it is very uncertain. It's full of uncertainties because there are so many questions people are asking about, um, you know, who where is it from and all of those things you know and it's very decentralized you know it's based on technology so a lot of things a lot of questions are going on out there about bitcoin and the other cryptocurrencies but then and that is what actually drives the uncertainty and because it has high uncertainty that's why you see when you look at the graph of a bitcoin for example you see that maybe um 
before the beginning of January, it was maybe around 20,000 or thereabouts. And then in January, it went as high as almost $40,000. Um, dollars and then now in February it's back to around thirty-two thousand dollars. So, you know, it's it, it's it's kind of um, it's a it's a very interesting graph. Let me put it that way. So, um, be aware of the risk because why is this important for you? You know, before you start putting your money into it, you want to watch, look at the market in such a way that you are not investing at a high point. Right, so you are not investing at the high point. That is when the price is high. You want to invest when the price of that coin or that cryptocurrency is lower, where the curve is changing, is deflecting up again. That is where you want to invest. That's the best place for you to invest. So look at the risk and um, beware that there is risk. Therefore, put it into calculation whenever you are trying to invest in a Bitcoin or in any. Um, cryptocurrency the next thing I would want to tell you is that you know again because of the risk you don't want to put invest all your finances or all your put all your investment into cryptocurrencies because the uncertainty is really high right so for example if you per adventure you have access to a hundred thousand or let me say a hundred thousand worth of um, cash to invest you don't want to put all of those amount of money into a Bitcoin or into Ethereum or into cryptocurrency all at once, right? Um, you want to maybe split it, right? The rule of, th of thumb is that, you know, that's wealth, that's investment that you know you can do without. That is how much you should invest in it. You should invest in Bitcoin. So don't put all your eggs in one basket. And to that effect, I also made a video about the different, the other different investment opportunities or tools or channels that you can use go to this video on my channel and then you will see that video and see the other tools that you can actually explore to you know diversify your portfolio now the other point is that you know i said that you should not put all your investment into one basket and then i came across a story of a particular woman who in um i think in 2017 in florida had access to you know met some friends and they told her about bitcoin and she said okay yes i'm interested in it but then this woman was really wise what she did was she didn't you know go all in into it because you know probably she doesn't even have that money or even if she does have maybe she doesn't she's wise enough to not say okay i'm going to put all my eggs in the basket she didn't do that what she did was that every money that comes to her or every cash that comes to her as a pay or as a tip or anything she converts it into bitcoin i think for since 20, 2017 she did that and when bitcoin really went high in in january the woman did some cashing out you know she sold some and kept some further and in in her cashing out she had almost twenty thousand dollars you know from maybe i don't know from something as little as a thousand or two thousand that she was you know dropping into bitcoin little by little so the point is invest in trickles you can also use the same ideology or the same framework this woman used you know just okay any any shame money they call it or any any funny money that comes to me that i know that okay maybe i didn't work for it but you know someone just gave it to me or maybe i was just um awarded you know something that you know that it doesn't hurt you if you lose it kind of i would Put it into it and then it doesn't hurt you but you have the chance of you know multiplying that particular wealth so that's the way i would see it drop it in trickles don't put all your eggs at once in one basket and the final tool or the final um tip on how to invest in bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies that i'll be sharing with you is that make sure you use a well-known tool right so there are several tools several apps out there that you can use to do your trade your coin trading but one of my favorites is coinbase right because they are well known they have um even some corporate bodies or some corporate groups using that particular platform so a lot of people use it right and it's even likely that they go on um they go they do their public offering soon because i had some news um i read somewhere um late last year that they might be going public you know so you want to um look at a tool that 
it's well known a lot of people use it so at least your coin or your, your your coin is easily accessible and easily tradable so that when you want to convert or if at all you want to convert at some point into cash like real cash then you can actually do that so that's what i would say so again the name of that tool is coinbase you can click on the link below to you know have access to them or register with them okay guys so those are my six tips for you on how to invest in bitcoin cryptocurrencies and all other coins out there mind you it's not only bitcoin that's an example of cryptocurrency as i said there are other ones like there's ethereum there's there are other ones that you can actually you know have access to which are not as expensive as a bitcoin okay guys thank you very much and if you like this video don't forget to drop me a like you know click on the click on the notification button also subscribe to my channel share this video and if you have any other tip on how you um you intend to invest in bitcoin do not forget to just drop them in the comment section i'll pick it up i like you know receiving your comment until i see you again the next time don't go away check the other videos on my channel i'll see you again bye bye